Well, Brooks, since the first time you guys played Baylor, it's obviously gone pretty well. Uh, what do you think is maybe different uh, this time around? I think there's a lot more attention to detail and in practice every day it's not really kind of like sluggish at first. We get in, get out, and I think we're really paying attention to the coaches' um, game plans and we're following through in every game that we play. What was, what was the difference that first time y'all played? I mean, it just kind of seemed like one of those nights where it wasn't y'all's night. Uh, it wasn't, but I mean, they executed very well and we didn't at all. We didn't follow any of coaches' game plan. We weren't serious about the game, and so I think that and the fact that they just took advantage of our weaknesses that game. Well, why wouldn't you follow Karen's game plan? Was it just that they pressed you out of it? or? No, I think just from the beginning, we weren't really following everything that coach said. Like the things that were open, we didn't look for them. The defensive strategies that she told us, we didn't follow through. And so I think it was just one of those games where we just weren't there. Jordan has really been doing well in Adrienne's uh, absence. She's how much confidence do you have in her going into this game? Um, I think the confidence comes from her being able to play in all those games and start last year. And so she's able to get back on the court. It took her a little while, but she's able to get back on the court and just kind of fill that role and just kind of try to pick up what Audrey Ann was providing for us. And so I think she's more comfortable and she's been in the gym, so it shows. This past game, every single player on the roster got to go onto the court. How much does that speak to your guys' depth and how much are they going to need that against Baylor? Well, I think we knew that going into every game. We obviously have a lot of people on the bench who can score, who can defend, who can do it all. And I mean, as if we sub out, it's not a drop off. And so I think that's one of the advantages we have is we have a lot of people on the bench who can come in and play. And um, I think we're going to need that in not only Baylor, but all the games going forward too. Yeah, Baylor's front court is so intimidating. Like, have you all seen another front court like them? Um, I think every team in the Big 12 has a lot of good guards and if it's not guards then it's post and so I think that um, Baylor's backcourt is very good but I think that their post players are so big and intimidating yeah I mean they're yeah I think they're a full round of team mm -hmm. you get the win in Waco last year but coming here and, and having Baylor here has been a different story what has that been a message or anything that you guys have been focusing on as we go into Monday? Not really. We're just kind of trying to focus on ourselves and focus on the game plan and actually following the game plan this time. But you, you've had some big environments here in Austin, obviously, with the UConn game. Uh, expect to, to have a pretty vocal crowd tomorrow night as well. So um, what kind of energy does that, guy, does that give you going into this, this big rivalry? Um, our crowd is great. I mean, I think that they're like our sixth man, um, especially when we play home. It's so It's such a great environment to play in. And, you just feel the energy, and when you're going and you're on a roll and the crowd is into it, it makes the game even more fun, and it brings more energy onto the court, especially for the players. So I think it will be a good crowd environment. Coach Ashland was talking about before the Baylor game how you guys were ready for that kind of environment. and I mean, it looked like in Waco that, that it didn't seem that, that that was the case. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel like with that kind of environment tomorrow night that that's something that you guys will embrace like you did against UConn? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's – been a couple of games that we've had a big environment like that and I think we always embrace it I think that game was just we were it was ourselves that got us beat and so um I'm just ready for the fun crowd tomorrow night outside of UConn this is really you guys the toughest competition of the season with the postseason play coming up how much are you guys going to learn on Monday night about yourselves um I think we're just trying to go in there and just play one game at a time. For us, it really is one game at a time. And so we're not even thinking about postseason or anything like that. We're just thinking about tomorrow's game. Now, does Karen have to mention what happened at Baylor last time y'all played at all? Or is it you already know that you don't need to watch the game film? Uh, no, we obviously need to watch game film just to see where they expose this in areas. But she doesn't have to mention it. I mean, I think it's all fresh on our minds.